for the first time in three years, Samsung is going down market with the Note line, releasing a budget alternative of the Note 3. This is Daniel from Phone Arena with a quick first look of how the new mid-range Note fares against the Note 3 flagship. This light edition here scales down on specs, sporting a 5.5 inch 720p display instead of the 5.7 1080p one on the Note 3. It has a slower processor, 2GB of RAM instead of 3 and an 8 megapixel camera on the back instead of the 13 megapixel here. On the other hand, as you can see, it has identical design, software features and a venerable S Pen stylus. We also get a large 3100mAh uh, battery that is just shy of the 3200 uh, unit in the Note 3. So let's recap what to expect uh, from a Note 3 Lite versus uh, Note 3 comparison. Samsung's uh, mid-range version of the Note comes uh, shorter and less wide than the Note 3, as you can see, but uh, not by much at all. Still, that makes it more pocket-friendly and easier to operate with one hand than the typical phablets of late, uh, despite the hearty 5.5-inch display. Just like uh, with the Note 3, the outer appearance is done in the new Samsung uh, stylistic of metal imitating side rim and uh, a removable back cover that resembles notebook leather, stitching accents uh, on the edge at all. This removable back cover means you can quickly swap with a spare battery and add more storage in the best of Samsung's traditions. We have the S Pen stylus tucked uh, the same way you'd find it on the Note 3 at the lower right corner. And overall the handsets looks uh, scream, hey, I'm a Note 2, I'm just smaller. Samsung's new phablet uh, sports a 5.5 inch 720 by 1280 pixels of resolution display resulting in 267 ppi pixel density. This panel is also the biggest difference when you compare it to the 5.7 inch 1080p screen of the flagship Note 3 that flaunts uh, a 386 ppi pixel count. The HD resolution means that uh, detail won't be as defined and doodling won't look as precise as on the full HD display of the Note 3. The panel is still of the Super AMOLED variety, just like on the flagship, so it will offer you oversaturated, somewhat cold colors, deep blacks and uh, excellent viewing angles. Both notes are loaded with uh, Samsung's TouchWiz Nature UX on top of uh, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, but we hope to see KitKat on them shortly. With Nature UX, however, the most apparent visual differences that KitKat brings, like uh, a transparent status bar and full screen wallpaper, are present stock, so there's not much of a surface difference at first look at all. Still, on both handsets, you can expect all the bells and whistles that come with Samsung's homemade interface overlay like a smart stay which keeps the screen on while you're looking at it and the multi-window mode that can run two different apps on a split screen you can open the gallery and then open messages or chat underneath it and comment on the pictures for example the possibilities are endless here and the display size of the two notes is uh, very conducive to multitasking. When you add the S Pen apps to the mix, uh, the handsets become in a league of their own. Stylus offers the excellent uh, S Note application, various drawing and annotating functions in the gallery of calendar, as well as this uh, air view and air gestures that let you hover above the display with a stylus or a finger and you can be marking links and evoking pop-up info in no time. We have a new kit on the Exynos block and it is the Hexacore CPU found in the Note 3 Lite. That has two Cortex-A15 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz maximums and four Cortex-A9s clocked at 1.3. The new Exynos is paired with uh, a decent graphics processor too, ARM Smiley T624, so it's unlikely you have interface or app black hiccups, though for heavy 3D games it might be throttling their effects down. Still, the Hexacore Exynos here is clocked much slower than the 2.3 GHz uh, Quad-Core Snapdragon 800 or the 1.9 GHz Exynos 5 Octa versions of the Note 3, so the difference in benchmarks is poised to be very significant in favor of the flagship. Same goes for the graphics processor, which is uh, likely to be faster than Mali 400 in the Note 2, but weaker than the Adreno 330 or Mali T628 that can be found in the Note 3. Samsung has put 2GB of RAM in its smaller phablet, compared to the record 3GB on the Note 3. 
Yeah, you still can line up uh, many apps open at the same time on both without slowing them down. There are 16 gigabytes uh, of internal memory plus a micro SD slot for storage expansion on the handsets. The 8 megapixel camera on the back of the Humble Note 3 has an LED flash uh, underneath it and there's also a 1.9 megapixel front facing shooter for video chat. It's pretty quick to focus. The larger brother sports a 13 megapixel shooter on the rear. Samsung's uh, interface offers an abundance of shooting modes like HDR or Panorama. On the Note 3, they are ranged in this uh, grid mode. And on the more compact uh, Note 3 Lite, on this easy to flip through carousel, we also get plenty of color effects uh, you can apply to your pictures and videos. We won't comment uh, on the samples quality from our prototype uh, compact Note 3 unit. It's uh, a non-finalized version of the phablet. What we're seeing though is uh, pretty encouraging uh, for the retail phone. While the Note 3 has already proven to be one of the best phone cameras around, it is able to capture 4K video recordings while the smaller Note 3 Lite makes do with 1080p video footage and both do it with uh, fluid 30 frames per second. The smaller Note 3 is likely to be as successful in terms of sales uh, as the flagship since it aims for those who want uh, a Note 3 but are deterred by its price or the size. The budget model doesn't sacrifice too much save for the screen resolution and the slower processor and since Samsung has graced it with the full S Pen functionality the mid-range phablet seems destined to become uh, one of the best value for money propositions uh, in this category. This was a quick first look uh, between a prototype Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Lite, also known as Neo, and uh, Note 3 flagship. For more information and comparisons, you can visit us at phoneArena.com. Thanks for watching.